and swam. What's up guys, this is Spark here, bringing you another YouTube video. And, um, in this video I found out that they changed Upload Studios, so it looks a lot cooler, and it also does not have that awesome effect anymore. So now I'm super bummed out, but apparently I can add text. So I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, I didn't do it in this video. I don't know why. I guess maybe I could add some. Um, I'll just put, like, check out this sweet text. Anyway, um, this video is mainly going to be about how to be a better OBJ player. And I know this video is long overdue considering I uploaded my last video on how to be a slayer or how to be a better slayer um, a long time ago. So this video is quite long overdue. However, I digress. Um, to be a better objective player, like a lot of people say, oh, it's the bitch roll. It's the easiest roll in the game. Well, that's not really true. Because you have to figure like you you have to you know, you're you're more out thinking the enemy. Like, I mean everyone's everyone's kinda got their own like metagame going and all. But um you have to kinda strategically place yourself throughout the map. In a good position, so then you can be on the objective, and uh, or you know able to control the objective, and in a position where your slayers can watch over you. And I mean, obviously, it comes with like a lot of communication, which helps and all that. Um, and it's you know, it's it's not an easy role to play. It's just as difficult as all the other roles. They're all equal. So it's not like one role is any easier than the other. And you're you're mainly gonna be the person to you're gonna be the one who's on the hard point all the time, holding on to it. Um, and when you're on the hard point, you gotta try and like not get in any as as many gunfights as you'd have to, alright? So don't like peek out of the hard point for pointless reasons because it's just a waste of your time right yeah you know when you when you're the only one on it or something you could try and just contest it for as long as possible and you know it's it's all about trying to outthink your enemy while you're still like playing the objective so you're thinking of how they're gonna approach the objective and how you're gonna react to them approaching you on the objective because you're gonna be face to face with them and uh, you're gonna have to find a way to either be on a head glitch or whatever and I mean obviously it's not like it's a 1v4 so the slayers and the you know anchors they'll help you out um, by like watching over you and um, like holding the spawn so if you do die then obviously you can get a good spawn and <laughs> not be screwed over. Um, most of the time I have notes for these things. Uh, on this one, none. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, I, I used to play the, the Slayer role. Well, I, I used to be the objective player way back in the day. And then I switched to the Slayer for some stupid ass reason. This is me standing trying to get Gamer DVR to work because it was super damn slow. And just, it took so long to record it. I don't know why. It was so dumb. And yes, I know that was an enemy walking right by me, but I was in Gamer DVR, so. Watch this kid get fucking destroyed because he's a loser. Anyway, um, so I was an objective player. Then I switched over to a Slayer, which I was really bad at. And I just, I, it wasn't my role. It didn't fit me as well. And now I'm back to being an objective player. So I guess I'm kind of more used to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and liked all these cool tips of how to be a better objective player. You're about to reach the limit for...